Good morning lovelies. Today I'm back again with another recipe and today I'm making pork. As you can see I have two big pieces of pork and yeah we'll start by uh, boiling this up because we like it soft and tender. I mean eating should be a joy and not fighting with bones and cutting through your meat with difficulty. So first step is I like to boil the pork up a bit to make it tender. Of course I know you can also do it the other way. So we put this to boil. Our pork is now boiling up. Let's see. Oh yeah, that looks good. I'll let it boil for an extra one minute and then we'll be done. And then I'll cut it into pieces. And today we'll be using these vegetables. As you can see, we have some garlic, we have carrots, we have, uh, I like to call it the traffic lights paprika or bell pepper because it's green, yellow and red, just like the traffic lights. I have three onions. I love, love onions. I have some broccoli. I'll be using um, hot curry and uh, of course, some little bit of salt. Okay, let me get to it. I'll cut this into pieces and I'll show you how it goes. Hey! Yeah, I like to cut the paprika, not in the tiniest pieces this time around because I like that this dish is a bit uh, kind of the Chinese way, you know, because it, I'll be making it in the wok later. So yeah, I cut my red, green and yellow paprikas. These are the sizes that I like. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. we are and when it comes to onions for this particular dish I like to do it in a different way so I slice them into half as you just saw then I go in through the onion as you can see like this and I take it out like that. I like to have big chunks of onions, just like I like the small onions too. Mm -hmm. I don't like to keep this on. I always try to remove it like that. I keep going all through like this. Mm -hmm. Like that. Yeah, it needs some time, but I always do it. And I try not to waste the onion as well. Huh? Try not to waste foods. Yeah. So that's one onion down. I go to my second. Again, from the inside out or from out inside, however you like. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yep, like that. 
-hmm. It goes quite fast when you're used to it, of course. Mm -hmm. The last onion, I slice it into small pieces to give the flavor. So the big round ones are mainly for display, of course, also flavor. But these ones I'll put to give it the aroma and flavor. Our pork is now ooh, really tender. I don't like to cut really tiny pieces. I mean. So I, th I believe these are good portions. And A, it's just a meal for two, by the way. So, yes, yeah, so we have everything for this recipe. It will be the pork over here. We have some round onions. I showed you how to make that. Uh, we have the other onions. We have garlic, we have carrots and broccoli. We have uh, the red light the red, green and yellow paprika, the traffic light paprika, as I said, we'll be using some salt and hot curry. What I like to do then is I get uh, the broccoli and the carrots to make it a bit tender. This was my pot that we used to boil up the pork. I put it in here. Everything is already clean, my lovely people. So I put it in here. Mm -hmm. and then let it uh, steam up for about two to three minutes not to become so fluffy and blah, blah 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 so I like to just let it steam up for a few minutes so that I use it later so yes let's start with the cooking I like to use uh, olive oil and today of course I do this in the work we're trying to do it Chinese style that's enough oil for the day and I'll be using Priscilla's two magic sticks. Da -la -la. Started off with the garlic and then I follow up with the onions. Get in, get in, get in. Yeah. And then I use my magic stick. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah and then on this other side i like to believe the carrots and broccoli are steamed up enough so i put off the fire and i'll show you how to do that later Put in our pork chops to the onions so that they already start picking the garlic and onion flavors. Yeah. And yeah, I'm that kind of a lady who likes her onions and um, garlic a little bit goldish. So it's time to get our carrots and broccoli out of the water. Mm -hmm. Well steamed up. Mm -hmm. we get the water out. Nice and lovely. Beautiful, right? Mm -hmm. And then it's about time to put all our paprika in and the round onions. And then we stir this for quite some time. Yeah, this is how it's looking so far. 
this is the view huh? love in the pot that later transforms to love on the plates i think it's at this point then that we need to put a little bit of curry i love curry and this curry has some chili in it so it's quite a nice thing to do and a pinch of salt just a little bit huh? just a little bit yeah oh how i love these onions guys oh, i wish i would serve you some of it through the internet but hey you definitely can also do this at your home and that's why i made this content for you so that you can be able to make such a delicious meal for your families friends and loved ones yeah and as a final step of our dish oh this looks really nice and colorful guys you really need to do this for your families anyways as a last step remember we steamed up some carrots and broccoli we just add that to everything else and we have our final dish oh my oh my wow how colorful how healthy how nutritious and i promise you guys my favorite thing in the entire dish is these round chunks of onions hey i love onions man anyways that's our dish and side by side we'll have some pasta and yeah we'll just uh, boil up the pasta no need to add oil or anything oh my looks really nice i'll let it sit for a while and make the pasta as i set the table lunch is ready so that's our pork dish and this is the pasta like i said it's table for two and we like to keep our carbohydrates to the minimum so yes pasta with pork and lots of vegetables for the day i hope you enjoyed this content and i hope you can make also nice um, dishes for your friends for your family and your beloved ones hey until next time Adios. Mwah. Bye bye.